Hello, this is uh, the Up River. Welcome to the Up River Crawfish. This is your host, Sankara. I'm bringing you another update on the special military operations in Ukraine. Today is September 10, 2020, and there have been developments all this week. Developments in the in favor of Ukraine, actually. Um, as far as it looks so far, the Kharkov counteroffensive that the Ukrainians launched have been paying off. So there's there are conversations we have about that. And but as always, before let's start with the overview of the map of Ukraine. This is the whole of Ukraine. These areas are the areas in which the Russians are, all the ping areas. This here is Crimea. Uh, and then the battlefronts is the Kharkov area. This Kharkov oblast in this area. This Donetsk area, Zaporizhia, and the Kherson. There was a Kherson offensive la uh, last week uh, uh, that the Ukrainians kept fighting men into, and the it was not successful. Marginally successful game few territories but mostly they got bloodied however in the in this a uh, 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 Kharkov offensive so far it looks like Ukraine has been uh, 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 I mean they've been successful it's, it, it's not it doesn't look like they have been successful so far this whole area in which you see the previous gray all year were were actually Russian areas before they cut into the Russian lines in this area. So let's talk about the Kharkov offensive a little bit more. Um, they have been online this whole week. They have uh, there are some pro Russian guys that are not. You know they're they're pro Russians, but they're not in favor of the Russian strategy of going uh, of taking things little by little, and and they they don't agree with the peace muse approach that Putin has took has taken. They prefer that the Russia Russia mobilize and stuff like that. Those guys have been very vocal and 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 especially demoralizing scene the the uh, 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 the attack from the 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 from the Kiev forces they came through in the area called uh, Balakia the whole of this week it was a it, it took a while for us to understand whether Balakia was seized or not but they did came through from uh, Androvka Androvka area and they attacked in, the, in, in, in with, uh, I mean, lightning speed. They put about thirty thousand men in this whole area. They attacked in this area, mind you. One of the things here with the Russian approach is that Russia has given only a few amount of men to this whole conflict. So, from a numbers perspective, they are the. And they are inferior when it comes to manpower perspective. And um, Ukraine, on the other hand, has a whole lot of men that they can throw to this into this fight. So in this situation, they have done it pretty skillfully. What the Ukrainians did was that they came from Androvka and uh, the Chuguev area. Uh, let me scroll further into the map. And so the, the coming from this area, they went ahead and they attacked Balaklia. And at the moment they broke through, they broke through a little because it was defended by uh, forces from the LPR, the Lugansk People's Republic, light uh, forces, uh, 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 guys who were uh, conscripted. It was mostly defended by that. And it was known that. That line was uh, uh, um, lightly defended. The Russians 
had those uh, the LPR guys defending that area. It was known that it was like they defended. Another thing that's funny about this is that the Russians also know, know because for for maybe a month, it, it has been rumors on the Russian Telegram channels that the Ukrainians were setting up in Androvka and to launch an offensive in Kharkov. So this couldn't have shouldn't have been a surprise to the Russians. Uh, yet it happened. The Russians defended uh, 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 but, uh, for a little bit. They had the forces defended for a little bit. They sent some forces to uh, uh, um, the. They sent some forces to to uh, to rescue to hold off uh, Chef 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 for a little bit. Kalovsky for a little bit, and. Even uh, 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 Kopiask, they had those areas for a little bit defended so they can pull forces, they can uh, 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 evacuate people. Because as the Ukrainians have stated, when they get over there, they're going to do a filtration. What Meaning all the people who uh, cooperated with the Russians, they're going to uh, 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 get them back. So... The Russians held their forces, and some forces stayed for a while. I think till late, maybe even till yesterday. Some forces defended Balakia for a little bit, and then they pulled back from there. And 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 also Kupians, the Russians pulled back. They pulled back behind the Osko River to defend from the Osko River and maybe launch a counteroffensive. Now. There's something strange about this. Yeah, a, on the one hand, it, it looks like a classic Russian um, operation art, where, uh, where or tactical act, where sometimes they will allow forces. They will do a retrograde movement and allow forces to to come into a positions, and then that position is already prepared for them to destroy them with artillery and 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 cut them off. So far, that hasn't happened. So, I can't, as I'm not in the Russian <laughs> general staff, I can't say whether that was the plan or not. Now, the Chechen deputy commander in the special operation, Aladinov, is saying that all of this was planned. I'm not going to take his word for it in this case. Uh, it could have been a... a, 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 a it, it could have been that someone messed up and someone going to have to pay the price for messing up like this. Um, bec uh, but there's a couple of things, though, that's in a silver lining here in the Russian favor. One, unlike the Ukrainians that just stand and get decimated, have their men killed, 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 or get surrounded and stuff like that, the Russians... Once they see their positions uh, um, compromised, they pull back, and so as to not to allow their men to fight for another day, and that was part of the operation that the uh, this operation I can see the U.S. hand by the way, all over it, because one the guys fought as if uh, 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 they were <laughs> launching those raids that you see. ISIS do. They'll come in the, the trucks, boom, 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 and, 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 and open fire, and, and, and open fire in an area, you know, with, with, with truck raids and stuff like that. So that's what was happening. Armor car raids and stuff like that. That's what was happening. There's nothing tactically skillful about that. In some cases, you will see the firing in an area and the railing fire is not coming back. Uh, so, but what was skillful was the operational side of what they did. When they when they got to an area where in they received resistance, they bypass it, move uh, other troops in in different areas, and then when they get to another area, they bypass it, cut off and uh, 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 move into another area, thereby cutting trying to cut off uh, Russian forces to put them in an encirclement. However, that operational encirclement did not happen because again, like the the, the Russians understand this stuff and the pull back but 
they did give up these different uh, 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 places like Kopiansk, uh, Shevchenkov, uh, Kalovsk, Balkia. And Balkia should have been easier to defend because a lot of rivers and stuff there, but the Russians gave that, gave that up. Now, uh, there is also talk that the Russians probably gave up uh, uh, um, Itzium or are planning to give up Itzium. So I don't know that for a fact yet. Uh, this map is pro-Ukrainian. You see, as soon as the Ukrainians take over an uh, 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 area, they quickly show it. It still shows, though, that Itzium is, 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 is not ticking yet. So the Russians sent forces here to defend and uh, 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 holding the line on the on the river. Those are f from once your 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 positions have been attacked like this, and and the you you are about to get surrounded. It is a good thing that they pull back to this river, and we we'll see from there. Now there are some caveats though that i'm looking at that say maybe this could be this could be and I, I i i'm skeptical that it is so i'm not going to i'm for fact i am on the russian side i'm, I'm in favor of the russian uh, position but i'm going to report the facts as i see them so all along the russian saw I mean, if the if the telegram channels were seeing the build-up in Chuguath and in Androvka, it, surely the Russians were seeing that as well. Surely the Russians were seeing that. So, why did they keep lightly defended forces, light, uh, lightly armed forces in this area? I don't know. Could it have been a mistake or is it a plan? If it's a plan, I got to tell you, when they execute it, if it's a seed, I will clap for them. Right now, I don't know for, for a fact. If, however, it is a plan, here's the thing. If, however, it's a plan, then it could be a strategic plan, meaning that because the forces that were brought to bear in this area were... The, some of the remaining Kiev forces that were uh, 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 heavily trained, uh, uh, you know, uh, Kiev forces, those uh, 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 combat ready forces that they had kept in to protect Kiev and 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 all those other places on 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 the west that Russia had initially done the the feint so as to draw them on that side and then isolate the remaining forces in the area so those are the guys that are remaining and they come back train the ones that are remaining and so if the rush it is a plan if it is a plan what then could be happening is that when those guys come out here that mean they should look and watch there could be an attack into kiev coming i know there are forces that they said have been gathering in Belarus for some time. I don't know that that's the plan, but it could be. I know for this war to end, Russia will have to go back into Kiev and take out, and take out this government, because there's no, there's not going to be any other way around that. So, anyways, these guys came here. If you notice, one of the things is if Isium is here and they have not taken over Isium yet, the Russians are still there. They have been pushing and they took over Krasny Liman. Remember, Krasny Liman was taken over by the Russians a while back. And the Russians, uh, 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 um, it took them a while they, because the, the, these uh, Ukrainians uh, stood fought and they took over those areas. Uh, uh, Yampil also fought, fought. Seattle-Gorsk uh, 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 were also taken. Now, the Ukrainians are pushing here. They're looking to cut off the, the, the Russian forces here. So far, they have gained territorial ground, but they have not de uh, 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 destroyed the Russian forces. So even one Ukrainian channel, the, one of the forces there, he was saying 
Well, we shouldn't be crying about this victory yet because even though we're taking land, we're not uh, 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 taking, we're not uh, 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 destroying the forces. And for all of those land that we're taking, the artillery is causing serious damage to our men. So we don't know yet. So we should pipe it down with the victory yet. We have not and taking taking the men. So one area they want to take uh, take over is is Isium. If they can catch the forces there and cut them off, then that might be something they would do. But the Russians uh, put in uh, so far it looks like they're still putting out a fight. Russia did abandon. And Krasny Liman, Yampul, Sviatogorsk, these are areas that they want, they fought hard to get. So we got to see the Russians' next move. Right now, they are using the Oskol River to go ahead and, 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 and set up a defense. And we'll see how that turns out. So for now, that's uh, 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 where things are. Let me go and start showing you the the tail of the telegram. All right. So as I uh, uh, mentioned before, this is how this is this map here is from earlier this week. So as you have seen, the Ukrainians came from Androvka and they came from uh, Chuguyev, which is somewhere up north I think somewhere up north and they attacked towards Balkia area and then they attacked to uh, Volkov Yar took uh, uh, Ivanovka they are taking these areas first and by midweek if you notice these different arrows they are pointing how they attack so as they came here to Shev Kovo first it was tough for them to take they bypassed it when they first came over here and they hit in Vrbovka and they were fighting around um, uh, 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 Balakia, they moved their men from there, bypassed it, and moved men deeper into the area. They went all the way over here to uh, Rushovka and then managed to hit the Oskol uh, uh, River here. So Russians, the Russians brought in reinforcement to... Uh, uh, prepare for this area but by now by now most of this area Ivanovka down here that's, that's one thing about this war is like in Ukraine you got Ivanovka in one area and then you got Ivanovka in another area it's like the name and there are many places with the same name so sometimes it can be confusing but the Russians uh, you can see by yeah this was probably uh, sometime midweek uh, 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 it, it probably was something sometime midweek uh, uh, that the this map they took over Chef Jankova. Kupiansk was still and uh, uh, being defended, but by now that's taken over. They have actually cut through here, so there's a big ceiling here. This whole area here, if uh, all the way here, thing year all this land has been taken over by the by the uh, ukrainians so there's just a uh it's your year and i think they took o over uh, uh ivanovka so far and they they're fighting in this area so that's how the ukrainians have done from an operational art perspective that's good on, on the ukrainian side there uh, and i can see again the u.s hand or behind that one oh, let's see let me go to another map okay, here is a video of how the Ukrainian attack unfolded on the hawk in the Kharkov direction all right so these guys came from again like I said they came from uh, uh, around Chuguyev in uh, Androvka and they attacked into this area and created a huge ceilings. As you see, when they came across resistance, they, they, they push past it, move into other areas. As they come across resistance, they push again, pass, pass it. 
and for the for on the Russian part, instead of staying there and getting in circle, every, instead of staying there and getting in circle, they kept they they they, they withdrew, then orderly retreat. So it looks like retro, they're doing retrograde action. I don't know, you know, what I would say temporarily so far right now that has given the Ukrainians some kind of win because it makes them feel that they it makes them and their supporters feel that there is some hope that somehow a, a, a Ukraine can do something to win this war I'll tell you this whatever success they have here Russia can, it, 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 it is not going to tolerate them uh, 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 um, is not going to tolerate them winning this war. So Russia is going to win. That's just what's going to happen. Now, what this might do, if this was not a Russian uh, 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 plan, some kind of uh, ingenious plan, if this was not a Rus uh, genius plan, what the Russians might end up doing, they might end up bringing more forces into the fight. That's what those uh, pro-Russians, anti Putin strategy type guys on Telegram have been saying, and they've been vocal, vocal, and I mean some right, downright, sometimes downright uh, 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 hysterical. They're not totally wrong in in that the strategy leaves puts uh, 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 men in danger and puts some of the Russians. And pro-Russian civilians in Ukraine in danger too, because, for example, if Russia has to pull off from these areas, as the Ukrainians said, people in this area that took aid or, 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 or are going to get harmed by the the Ukrainians' retribution. Another thing is that uh, 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 you know these pro-Russians but anti-Putin strategy guys. They, they almost think they think that Putin has uh, made some kind of a deal with the West, and this is what's going on. Now, I think it's far fetched because I don't know that Russia can. This cannot leave in a tie. It would be a strategic defeat for Russia if this left in a tie because Ukraine will cons uh, considerably be a torn in their flesh and cause problems down the road. So it cannot be it remain in a tie. So if Putin is making a deal, then I'll tell you, the other Russians, the, 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 the real patriotic Russians, those ones who really are angry with this slow, uh, 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 um, this slow peace mew operation, they're going to be the ones that will get louder and things will shift. If, however, it's some kind of a Russian plan, then as I said, it has to be on a strategic level for it to make sense. That means they're drawing forces away from Kiev to attack Kiev. Let's go for other stuff from Telegram. I've just seen uh, this report from the Ministry of Defense. I I don't even know uh, that I should put in here, so I don't I don't even know what to think about this. It pretty much means that they are going to abandon uh, uh, Itium. So it states here: Russian troops that operate near Balaklia and Itium to be redeployed to for reinforcement at the next direction in in order to reach pre-established objectives of special military operation. With this purpose, Isium Balaklia group of troops have been redeployed to the Donetsk People's Republic within 72 hours. Various deceptive and demonstrative maneuvers have been carried out marking real action of the troops within the above-mentioned operation. The enemy had been under powerful fire attacks with the involvement of aviation, missile troops, and artillery for preventing any damage to Russian troops. Over 2,000 Ukrainian and foreign militants, as well as more than 100 units of armored equipment and artillery have been eliminated within 72 hours. Uh, I mean, that is technically true. That is technically true that 
they have inflicted casualties on those guys and stuff like that. Uh, but the pull off from from Itium is so that they cannot get uh, 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 encircled. The predetermined stuff, I think that's really propaganda. I, I, I mean, I don't think that they wanted to. Now, you could also look at this as saying that the guys who are pro-Russian but anti-Putin strategy, you can look at it and say that they are right, that maybe there is some kind of a deal going on. That caught uh, that made it made uh, 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 the Russians let that area just just go because they're saying it, that we it, that they what they're saying they, is that to reach pre-established objectives or special military operations almost to say that we only care about Donetsk and Luhansk and stuff like that um, and the only reason why our troops were fighting these guys when they were coming. And destroying them was to protect uh, 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 the Russian troops from getting uh, destroyed. Uh, I will have to wait and see more to to understand. But that's this has given fodder to those guys who are anti, who are pro-Russian but anti-Putin. So here is some of what uh, here is some of what uh, I'm reading from these pro-Russian anti-Putin strategy to, uh, and guys. So regarding the current situation on the front, Russia MOD made some huge mistakes and utter failure at this front. MOD and Putin have to announce total mobilization of the armed forces of the Russian Federation. Call it retreat or tactical withdrawal doesn't change the fact that the territory is lost for now. It's impossible to advance with 200,000 soldiers on the front that is 800 kilometers plus long. Also, you need to secure the cities of partisans of the Kiev regime. Putin made a mistake in the beginning. He thought that Ukraine would see him as a savior. And we can see it's the complete opposite. If Russia wanted to, Kiev and Ukraine wouldn't exist on the map. But it looks like Putin has other plans. Are they focused on economic destruction and drying out the West and the EU? We do not know yet. The things we know is that the war is not over. Nor does one defeat mean the end. The SMO continues and the high command needs to sort these things out immediately. You know, I don't disagree. I don't know. I know why Putin took the route he took. He, he took it. The Russians, the U.S. not only wants to fight uh, Russia and defeat them on the battlefield, but really the goal is to drain Russian resources. So to drain the resources, the economic resources. Uh, 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 uh. So what Russia decided to do was to organize this conflict in a way wherein they can fight with just limited amount of men that would and do the heavy lifting and the, do an attritional war. And that worked for the most part. That worked. That was brilliant and stuff like that. Now they may need to step it up because they 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 are in some areas they are very light on manpower, so they may need to step it up. That's what these guys are saying, and they're not totally wrong. So there's the map so far as we see it. The Russians have abandoned abandoned Itium as the as I've read that. Uh, 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 as you saw that I read the Russian Defense Ministry's statement, they abandoned Itium. The Ukrainians have taken over Kupiansk. There is almost looks like almost like the Russians are abandoning uh, 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 Kharkov as a whole. Uh, so this to me what is not a you know, as the Russian Defense Ministry puts it, to me, this is a defeat. This is not a, 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 a some kind of a, a plan. Uh, uh, the the abandoning Itium, the uh, pulling along the Oskil uh, Oxo uh, River, Oskol River. Uh, that's the river here, along there. 
and these guys are the Ukrainians are pushing further into uh, 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 they're pushing further into Kharkov and the problem here is there are a lot of residents in Kharkov that are there are a lot of residents in Kharkov that are uh, uh, have taken Russian citizenship, Russian passports, and stuff like that. Those guys are going to be killed. But so far as we have seen from the Ukrainians, so this is the total front right now as it is, uh, as you can tell. The Ukrainians have succeeded in managing to, uh, 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 because again of limited amount of troops, so. The Russian Ministry of Defense is going to have to make, a, a, a come up with another plan, make a decision to make this war, to bring in about, you know, put in another about three to 400,000 men into operations and start mobilization. Because again, I think I agree with these guys when they say, it is all the whole West going against them. So... They got manpower to keep throwing there. Now, the original plan I told you was brilliant. Uh, it was brilliant, but then the uh, the enemy has their own plan too. They will uh, make decisions, uh, 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 and so that's what it, uh, what happened. Where even though Ukraine has lost about some two hundred thousand men in this battle, they kept back some of. Because Ukraine has 600,000 men, right? Um, 200,000 original ones. I mean, about 100 or so thousand of them were in the the, Don the Donetsk area. And they got decimated. But about the rest, the rest of the combat ready forces, some of them got drawn out to Kiev and those other places to, uh, 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 to protect those areas. So now, with more weapons that the U.S. supplying and Russia not interdicting them uh, 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 sufficiently, uh, uh, this could actually be a, uh, 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 causing problem now, as far as when it comes to to men, uh, 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 when it comes to the amount of uh, 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 of men executing the operation. If they're too, they are not allowed. Uh, Ukraine can throw manpower to it. So I go to, w the truth here is that we got to see what the Russians going to do. Yes, Kupiansk, uh, 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 they have, my understanding is that they have abandoned this. They, they, and then the Ukrainians have blown up the, the bridges so that the Russians, can, if they have to come, they'll have to come back with, uh, 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 I call it a, uh, pontoon bridges and stuff and it will be a slower uh, 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 slower advance now when you look at uh, what happened in Kherson the Ukrainians were saying that that was a feint if it was a feint it was an expensive thing but you could say maybe they were right because uh, 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 as it looks right now the 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 the, the all of their forces, their other forces, have been pushed towards a uh, 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 Harkov and is yielding dividends. So, let's see. This has been your update by Sankara of the Up River Crawfish. Please do like, share, subscribe. This battle goes on.